<laughs> How do I get away with this? Boom, baby! Bro, we actually <clears throat> have to play the Gauntlet. So I'm going to play the Rise deck. I'm going to play Brahmin Nora. I'm just going to pick a third deck that they're guaranteed going to ban. So Misfortune Twisted Fate is guaranteed ban, right? Here we go. It is time, chat. Gauntlet time. We're diving in. The first deck has to be banned deck because they're like, oh my god, his first pick was that one. That must be his best deck. That's where the genius lies. First we put that, and then we play Brahm Nora, and last but not least, we play Rise Yi. Fantastic. There it is. I'm so ready. I've never been so ready. I have a hard time beating this deck, um, especially with these two. Like, it just beats me faster than I beat him. I just hate playing versus this. Ban Plunder? I don't care, dude. I can outrace. No! Bro! My rise! How dare you. I'm just gonna get this out of the way. Bro, <laughs> who bans rise, dude? I'm being sniped, obviously. No one likes playing it, but you're trying to win. You're not trying to pick what you like. Let's just race him. We just gotta get really good curve and we win no matter what. It's fine. We just gotta outcurve him. We just gotta outcurve. This deck runs 5 mana deal 1 to everything, so we gotta keep in mind that we can't really trade properly with that. Uh, I think we need units early. Skamazed. We have a lot of 1 drops. There's no... Bro. <laughs> There's no way I didn't get a 1 drop! What? This deck is all 1 drops! There's no way! It's all 1 drops! Bro! Bro! What the hell? He's actually trash at the game, though. Look at the trades you just gave me. I'm, I'm, I'm fine with that. I just got mega trades. Like, we just, we just recovered. I'm still losing, though, unfortunately. Bro, I'm playing, like, control. What is this? What is my hand? How is my hand so expensive? I don't understand. What is this? What is this? Look at his hand. Watch. Now watch him have... I'm doing this on purpose. I need to be able to get more value for TF, I think. I need more value for this. If he plays the 5 cost card, they stay at 1 HP anyway. It's fine. We have to play this controlly, unfortunately. I wish that wasn't the case, but I have to play like control. I right, kill those off. How is this new deck? Listen, we don't talk about my deck at the moment. We don't talk about it. What the hell is what the hell is my hand? Oh my god, dude. You are cute, and I want to kiss your tiny face. There's literally no way this is real. It is good to see you, There's no way this is real, chat. It's a pretty good draw, by the way. The day shall be riches. Really? Huh. Um Check the Leo, we're just dead. I mean, he's running out of time. One drops are gone, I'm aware. Good control. He's running low on time. It's fine. He takes the hit. What a Giga Chad. Watch him have Gangplank now in hand. What are you doing? What do you mean, what am I doing? I'm doing whatever I can to survive, bro. What do you mean, what am I doing? I'm trying to survive. I'm trying to live. I'm trying to live, chat. I'm trying to live. 
I have Noxian Fervor to kill Gangplank now, for what it's worth. It's not easy to live. Dude, I got so unlucky this game, it's insane. Like, did you see my luck? Did you see the level of my luck? I didn't even get a one drop. How many? Let's do that. Let's 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 go back to kindergarten chat. And kindergarten is like a German word. I want to look at this deck list. One, two, three, four, five, six, nine one drops. Nine one drops, bro. Nine. And nine is also a German word in case you didn't know. At least we got a one drop. That's what matters the most here. Watch him have a one drop as well. He's a, he's a giga he's a giga chat. Of course he is. Your one drop sucks, by the way. I I feel no I feel no sympathy for your one drop. House Spooter. You sure you live in Brazil and not Argentina? I'm sure. Pretty good for us if he does that. Now we have the Giga Play of all Giga Plays. You've never seen something like this, chat. You have never witnessed something this powerful. Boom, baby! Misfortune for the win! She's so good at the game. It's actually insane. It's actually unethical. What are you gonna do now, huh? And next year we have literally only play Legion Marauder into open I have Negakaburo's vision. Lethal. Peace! I've already won. I already see five turns ahead. I have predicted the entire future of this event. That's annoying. Who cares? All in. Doesn't matter. I have to go all in here. I have to, I have to push. I gotta push for the value. That card is so annoying, by the way. Why didn't you block that one? Wait, what? Is it, what? Why'd you... I'm not mad. It's fine. I'm actually not mad at that. It's fine. Absolutely fine with me. Boom, baby! Another one. Another value card. Now, I could throw this and just buff everything if he, like, goes for the two drop. Maybe. Depends what his last card is. Oh. You have double decimate? Yeah. One less blocker is worth it. It's a, it's a grant as well, right? Wait, I just realized it's grant. It's not give. That's, that's actually really strong. I like that. I like that play. It's a grant. But no, it's, it's definitely worth it if it's a grant card. And he wasted mana here, so he can't develop. This is fine. Bro. Okay, that's fine. He burns a mana crystal. That's really good. That means he can't play... Okay, that's, that's pretty good. He's losing tempo. We have Eye of Nagakabros. And then we have 8 damage to face. I'm pretty happy with that. No blocker. Give me, give me Fervore and Oxiane. TF is actually solid. I like TF here. We hit... Why? I actually wasn't even paying attention. Dude, I almost lost the game. I... <laughs> what? Bro, do you not know what I run? Have you never seen my games? What is that? You can't just go to 4 HP? Deny? What deny? Three mana can't deny. He has to play her this turn. He has to play to this turn or he loses. Pace! Woohoo! Easy. Okay. Next victim. Who's my next victim? Oh, it's the same one. Never mind. Sa same victim. We have Mini Morph for this. Mini Morph is pretty good. Yeah, it's, he can't revive her if I Mini Morph her. Okay. So he only has three. I just need a Mini Morph and that's it. We want to find Nora early. We, yeah. Okay, we got the Minimorph. You win this matchup? I hope so. Minimorph is very important for this matchup. And Braum is really good because Braum levels off of her. Okay, nice. Nice hand. I'm, 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 having, 
I'm a fan of my hand. Now, if he levels, if he gets a really early evolve, it can kind of suck. I gotta play this on mana 3 and then play Brahma mana 4 with one attack. He got spell shield. That's, that's annoying. Him passing on 2 is really good for us. Ooh, Nora. Just pop it now. This does one less damage to me this way. It's really hard to decide what to play in 4. It's really hard to decide, because if I play Brahmin 4, I'll have exactly enough time for Minimorph in 6. Nice. On 5, I mean. Right, so it's definitely Brahm. Is it the moose stash or not? Speak to me. Speak to me. What is it? Moose stash or not? Which one is it? How does he kill this? Nothing kills this, right? Not in these colors. <laughs> You're gonna take your own damn medicine. He didn't proc it. My shield should be friends. This is pretty safe. Concerted strike doesn't kill me. Okay, we're good. 4-4 four, four blocker is amazing. So, immediate Minimorph. We don't even wait. We don't even wait, chat. He's turning on my stream, maybe. This is the easiest pass of my life. I've never seen a pass so easy in my life. He has nothing to attack with this. Aloof can discard? No. Because he might hit the 8 cost card, the 7 cost card, whatever it is. He has other cards that are very strong. He might play more keywords. So quick attack is on her by default, right? That levels this up. That goes to six, but unfortunately for him, then he can't kill Brom because Brom is at seven. He's one off. We just need to have it. He can pass here. Then we just kill off the two one, right? Free two one kill. Open attack. This can't be blocked by anything. We're fine. Oh, uh, we could play Nora as well before open attacking because we don't want this going to six six. We have a very good open attack. Like he's lit he literally gave us a prize. He's like, hey, take my Valor. You can have him. He gave us a free vo Beautiful. That's so- that's such a weird play, by the way. That play made no sense to me. We do this before this can level. We just want this gone. And now we can play- uh, we just keep developing and holding 6 mana. I'm not mad at that. It's fine. Brom will level this game. Bro is sniping. There's a decent chance. There's legitimately a very decent chance at this point. Okay, mini morph next turn. I know. That's the plan. No, I can, but no, I can't because he, if so let me explain why I can't mini morph next turn. If he has a uh, Kaisa supercharge, it's, it's really really scuffed. Like her supercharge is really scuffed. Minimorph is quite telegraphed. I'm aware of that. We can't give her Scout. Like, Scout just wins her the game very often. And we're looking good. I'm pretty happy with this. He doesn't have a very good attack. His attack actually kind of sucks. Because he's feeding Braum. He's feeding Braum a lot of value. You've evolved. What does he attack with? He has no attack. Uh, we probably open with a Loof Traveler to try to get rid of the second Kai'Sa if he has her. Or the 8-drop, whichever one is first. Start putting portals. I can't. Um, because he ha I'm, I'm playing around his win conditions at the moment. Brahm is currently 4 to 10. He levels off of this nicely. He might think that he has a way to kill Brahm here. He might do something weird. That's really good for us. Uh, because that means he has her in hand. That means very often this will discard her. I'm very happy about that. I obviously can't play Nora because it it just dies to this plus buff. So let's let's hope for the best here. It's a really good card. You dropped something. I dropped everything. She gone? Beautiful. You just love to see it, chat. You just love to see it. <laughs> oh no! That's two gone. He's only got one left. Peace. There it is. One and zero. Oh, we're so good at Brom, dude. We're so good at Brom Nora. It's it's crazy. This is this is our deck. We play this deck like absolute masterminds. Yo, continue. One zero. Who's my next victim? I think I ban uh, Twisted Fate. Her. 
because I sometimes have a very hard time stopping syncopation. I'm worried about syncopation. This I can stop with most of my decks, I think. Ban Jax? I think I can beat Jax. I think we can outscale Jax with the Brahminora a lot of the time. We have freezes, we have recalls. I'm gonna ban this one. I'm gonna ban tentacles. Alright, he the ban the ban one got rid gotten rid of. Okay, so we, we got rid of the ban card. Let's start off with uh with Rise. Let's start off with the with the deck we're less uh confident with. We did go seven and one with this deck today, but let's see how it feels. Is the standard gauntlet? Yes. I don't think we keep in free. Time for rise. We'd rather naturally draw the champions. Okay, so this 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 matchup specifically is literally playing with the um, tempo in mind. Just want to play for tempo. I could have played her actually. Probably playing either dragon was worth it. Yeah, what? Well, it's hundred percent worth it. It's a, it's a misplay not to play either dragon here because it uses main deck mana. Is this deck better than Shadowwell's version? Yes, I think so. It feels a lot stronger. Because now we can activate her. Now he can't play Nora, because he's thinking deal two damage to weakest unit. He cannot play Nora here. We denied him Nora here. Alright, oh, uh, now we delve into the pass and hope for the mana one. Where's the mana one? I'm tilted. You dropped something. That's, that's dropped perfect. He's, he's literally, oh my god, he's literally getting rid of the, the worst cards. Uh, let's kill this off. Because now we can keep activating this. We have Rise leveled. That's perfect. Him discarding our draw is so good because we really don't need that draw. We have blockers now. We have to play Rise now, though. Um, Rise is pretty important. I probably don't play Rise, though. I probably wait to uh, level Rise to force him to pop Spell Shield first. Because that's a lot more annoying to deal with. He can't play Nora, either. It's so good. <laughs> he knows we have these in hand, so he can't play Nora. Poor guy, dude. He legitimately can't play... He could play uh, Swain, for example. I think that would force me to play uh, the Stun card. Yeah, I'd be forced to play Stun here. Correct, there is no real pressure here. Now we can play the draw one because he can't play the other dude. That wondrous draw hard. Kill that off for free. And he can't... Oh my god, he can't... Oh, <laughs> baby! Now this is almost guaranteed to hit it. That's the best part. We're guaranteed... We're, um, we're, are we, we are guaranteed to hit the mana one, right? Yeah, we are. We're guaranteed to hit the mana one. We get our mana back. Sweet! This is, so, <laughs> this is so annoying! Oh no! Look at what he has to play! Look at what he has to play to survive! Oh, uh, it's so beautiful! In every single way! Unfortunately, I have to play Rise naturally now. I'm not, I mean, Nora's dying to Rise anyway, but... Bro. Um, I'm, I'm two mana off. It's pretty sick. Okay, let, let's drop Rise. I long for the day. I cannot stand by. <laughs> not How did I drop? How did I drop five? I never played Rise. Bro, I haven't played Rise yet. I just drew all five. There's no way. There's no way that happened. I can I can I can bounce back rise if need be as well. Now you will understand. Nora's dead, which is important. We draw a card. Now we just gotta keep rise alive, basically. That's it. We just have to keep rise alive. I should have played this, by the way. I misplayed. I should have popped this and then attacked. That was stupid of me. I really misplayed that hard. Oh. Okay. Interesting. Huh. 
Let's pop this. Let's kill that off. Oh, I, I keep misplaying. I, I'm, I'm, I'm throwing so hard. I'm throwing so hard here. I keep forgetting to use my mana. Oh, I'm throwing so hard. Bro, I know, I know. I'm, I'm throwing really hard here, chat. I just need rise. Where's my rise? Rise! Bro, how... What? How am I drawing all the wrong stuff? If he plays a semi-cost, I literally win with rise in my hand. It doesn't have too much to draw. Right now, I'm just drawing everything. Need to make space in hand. We could burn a rise by accident this way, believe it or not. That would be really bad. Master, your demons. <sighs> Please don't burn a rise at the start of the turn. I mean, we could just play whatever card we get here. Thank God. Okay, we're safe. back. Homecoming. But there's no need for homecoming. I have stuns and everything. We just win with rise, right? We need to be able to play two rises. There's no way. I, we might burn a third rise, though. Jesus. I might actually burn a third rise. I gotta do that. I can't, I can't burn. If my, if my last, if he has another mini morph and my last rise is there, I just lose, right? Wow, what a sick draw. What an absolutely disgusting draw. What an absolutely disgusting top deck. Imagine if I would have burnt Deny, bro. Imagine if I would have burnt Deny. No, he has three mana turn into one six and many morph right after. He can stop. He can actually do it. He can double burst it. He can double burst it. 100%. Does he have another stun? Please don't have another stun. Enough! This cannot stand! Let's go! Peace! Woo! There it is! Another stun won't work. Oh, you're right. You're actually right. He'd have to have a stun plus a pokey stick. Good point. Enjoy your victory, but learn from its cost. Ah. <sighs> Alright. Got the rise win. Next, our favorite deck, Brahm. Nora. Dun, 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 dun. My name is Bram Nora. Yes, I am. Um, in this matchup, if I'm not mistaken, I my my big advantage is uh, he can kill injured units. My big advantage is the five cost card, but I also want to have portals and level Nora as soon as possible. So I'm gonna keep one of these. Bram is not that great because he can kill injured units, so it's not ideal. The five cost card is where my advantage lies. Depends what he plays on 2-drop. I, I usually play Conchologist if he plays Nora. Alright, no, never mind. We play Junk Construct if he plays Construct. Uh, and we probably open attack here. What are his 3-drops that punish us? Yeah, we definitely open attack. I think he, he likes to take 2 to face pretty often. Uh, we're just looking to level Nora as fast as possible. Let's see... Brum is weak in this matchup. Unfortunately, Brum is quite weak. Stress defense. It prevents flocks. I might take stress defense here. That might be wrong. Brum is really good here to drop on four. He doesn't have attacks into Brum. No, 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 not my Brum, bro. Oh, that's painful, chat. That's so painful. Losing Brum there really is bad. It's not the worst thing. It would have been worse to lose the five cost card, honestly. So it's not the end of the world. Come on, five cost card. Yes! Yes! That's my advantage card. 
That's the one card that gives me the advantages. And I haven't hit the portals yet, which is huge value. Oh, I should have played actually this first before doing that, but then he has, I don't know. I'm not even sure what I'm supposed to do there. Oh, that's so huge. That is such huge value. All right, now we attack. We make sure this dies before uh, the portal ends. Yeah, everything just attacks here. It's great. You can kill all three if he wants. I have two portals in the deck. He can't really block with Swain properly. Flock? I'm happy with Flock. It's fine with me. All right. We got a lot of portals in hand. All my portals have three attack, basically, unless I get super unlucky. We even have a blocker. Nice. All right. All right, now we need uh, just more portals and more Norris. He drew two portals. Interesting. Okay, I drew two portals as well. Wow, what a, what a portal, bro! What a portal! That's what I like to see. Fantastic. Just buff everything I have. And this is why this card, by the way, is just so strong. He's just ridiculously strong. I'm, I'm going to have to play cards, though, before anything else. High roller. Let us take a peek at life beneath the waves. Shatter. Crackling ice. Wow, these are all bad. I'm gonna go with this. Just get rid of this blocker. This also does damage to him to face, which is kind of nice, I guess. Well, this resummons the card, right? I don't like his play at all. I think that's a bad play by him. This will just get resummoned with full HP. Okay. No problem. Just develop now. Let me show you. We just want to develop and take advantage of uh, this Duran Sculptor. Bring these lands to their knees. I'm just going to go wide and attack. I'm just going to attack with as much as we can. Draw for mini. I'm just going to I'm just going to start putting pressure on him. We have very 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 strong attackers. Everything attacks including the 4/3 because this is flockable. We just have to put pressure. We know he has Swain's flock. Everything kills his Swain because of a uh, pokey stick. He can't go down to 1 HP ever. It's fine. And also, we're shuffling portals into our deck, which is good. I, I don't think he should block this one. Not on my watch. Can I down to six? We're setting up a two-turn lethal, basically. I think his hand is... He's going to have to flock this, but then... Again, it's still a lot of value. And we have portals in the deck. And then when this dies, he just gives me more portals as well. So he's almost leveling Swain here. Swain is almost leveled. We know that for a fact. He doesn't have a very good attack. He actually does zero damage by stress defense into Troll Chant. Swain is almost leveled. Portapalooza is insane. He puts three portals in my deck. Portapalooza into Pokestick is nuts. He has to level his Swain in order to stun my backboard. So he knows for a fact he has to level Swain this turn. Pass. He has to level Swain. Oh, this is so awkward. Um... Wait, what did I do? Oh no, I threw. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. I threw the game. I threw. I threw the game. I threw the game! I, I forgot he goes back to 6 HP. I forgot he goes back, chat. I forgot he goes back to 6 HP, bro. How am I so bad? How am I so bad at video games, bro? Where does my talent come from? I'm actual trash. I'm a garbage bin. I am a bit of garbage.
I literally threw. In my mind, that was actually gonna work. I need attackers. This actually has Overwhelm, and it's a 6-6. Six, six. It's kind of nice. He's stunning my entire board. I gotta kill the Leviathan as well. A five five in line. I threw so hard. Leviathan lethal, basically. Um, dude, I threw so hard. You guys don't understand how hard I threw. Like, if, if you've ever seen a hand as strong as mine, I'm the I'm the strongest thrower of all time. That was a misplay, by the way, because that was the one getting stunned. He had to do it on this one, and then this gets stunned and this gets injured, so he can set up ravenous flock. He misplayed. He massively misplayed there. Although I have no blockers for next turn, I'm gonna attack, obviously. Ah, uh, this is a hard choice as well. He could theoretically kill off the 4-4. Yeah, no, I attack with the 4-4, I think. I think I need, um... Actually, no, 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 he has 0 HP, never mind. Wait. I'm an idiot. It doesn't give vulnerable. Chat, that, that, that card just threw the game. I, I, I couldn't figure it out. It actually doesn't give vulnerable. Oh my god. Well, he just misplayed. He just gave me board space for non-stunned units. That was a misplay by him, because I have... I'm getting four units stunned. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Wow. That's so disgusting. He stuns four units. What's my next attack gonna even be? I need to play her. I need to play Nora. Portals, portals, up and down and all around. Oh my god. Nora is very important for the reason that uh, this portal can be top decked. And I'm not dying to an, to an attack here anymore, which is kind of nice. Do I need Nora to be alive? That's another question. Do we need Nora to survive? I think I just need to high roll something ridiculous with Nora, dude. I think I just need to high roll something stupid with Nora if I want to win this. I think that's the only way to win. You never attack there, right? You are safe with Brom. I don't mind if Brom dies, actually, because I, I get to put more portals into the deck. I'm fine with that. Okay. After the battle, the ravens feast. What's the purpose of that? I, I don't understand his purpose for that. I don't get it. I mean, I get I get what he, why he's doing it, but I think that's a misplay. All right, we need to put portals in the deck. Like, I'm I'm happy to get to lose Brom there. Brom wasn't doing much. He actually wasn't threatening anything. Bro, really? All your leviathans? Yay. We can survive this. Nine cost card. I can win with this. I actually have lethal. If he doesn't have a stun. Wow, I actually have lethal. I actually have lethal in hand. I have a lethal in hand. Overwhelming this. <sighs> nice stun. Uh, I can't beat that. There's no way to stop it. That was really... He top-decked the uh, stun. I had lethal here by entombing the blocker and doing full damage. He top-decked it, yeah. I would have won. If he didn't have a way to damage face, I would have actually won. Guaranteed. Maybe he forgets the block. He actually found the stun he did. But any 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 uh, card would have given him the stun. So it wouldn't have mattered. 
Any card would have given him a stun. Um, any any damage card to face. But damage card to face, he wins anyway, so. Uh, that, that misplay cost us everything. That stupid misplay cost us. We, we play that so stupidly. Okay. <clears throat> if you had pulled that off, though, it would have been a tuber for sure. Absolutely. This and this and this is, a, is an amazing card. Okay. It's a little bit of a slow hand. I got to play Braum before I play this, usually. But this is actually a really good hand. I love burying people in ice. Yeah, it's a very... In this matchup, that's the card you want to find. If you can find buried in ice, you're in a really good spot. We're going to take some damage early on, unfortunately. Especially if he has this into Jax. That's kind of disgusting. Hopefully he doesn't have that. That's a really good draw. Like, overall, the only thing that would have made this better if I, if I would have had, like, a Nora, right? Nora would have been sick here. More air, more calls. Nora would have been amazing there. Oh, wow, he doesn't have Jax in hand. That's huge for us. I have to play this now. I wish I didn't have to play this now. This is also getting rid of Orn, which is huge. So now we have Braum being a 1-7, which is disgusting, by the way. I think we win. I think we're good. He's going to play the three mana um, P and Z. So he's going to play this on mana six. He has a four drop that draws Orn guaranteed in this deck. So yeah, he played the P and Z card as expected. You can fix anything with anything. I'll prove it. Nice. Strong card. Nice, we just pass. It is what it is. Um, he has to open attack. That's five to face. We always take it because we're just going to play Braum here. And that's probably the last significant damage we take to face. Well, we're going to be taking um, this damage to face usually. The that's a really good one because it's guaranteed damage, but I have a heal on my deck as well, so since we have healing, we should be fine. He might be able to kill this off with buff buff strike. That's like the only turn he can do it. Kind of sucks if he kills him, but it's going to cost him a lot of mana to do it as well. He'll have to spend a lot of resources to kill him. Play around fish. I mean, I had to play this this turn no matter what, because what am I going to do next turn play it? I have no, I mean, I guess maybe, but I could have passed there. Passing there was not a bad play. Yeah, I should have passed. Because losing Brum here does actually suck. It actually does suck massively to lose Brum here. Five. Double fish fight. I would love double fish fight. He can't kill 7 HP easily. Yes, I know he can't do it easily. He wants to do it in one strike. If he does it in two strikes, I don't mind. Because in two strikes, I get a Poro, a 4-4 Poro, which is pretty strong in the blocking. Perfect. Perfection. All right, we're happy with that. Um, let's see. We want to give him a chance to play worthless things. Like fish, fish, whatever. Like, what do I do if he does fish fine on this? Smelly fish. I need to keep mana for freeze this turn. It's very important to He's going very wide, unfortunately for us. So, let's see. I think I kill this off. Let me just develop. Yeah. This is the safest play. Yeah, we do have healer. We have three tavern keepers. We have one of the five cause guys as well. We get our 4-4. Four, four. This 4-4 four, four is ridiculously good. It blocks pretty much everything it needs to block. We have junk construct here. I'll, I'll play it. Yeah. Just go, we, we just want to be wider than he is. Do not aloof on turn 7. What do you mean? Do not aloof on turn 7. Why? Why would I not aloof on turn 7? Doesn't make sense. That's exactly when you want to aloof. Portapalooza versus Spirit Unleashed. I'm not sure which I prefer. I know you've been stealing my plates, Captain. Hey, they patch up the hole real good. Losing Brom here is not that big of a deal. He has no overwhelms, which is a big deal for us. Draw for the nine cost. Um right now, I want to make my Brom stronger than he currently is. We have another good blocker with this. No, we, we open with a loof traveler every time. What if he passes? We just pass. We burn his mana. All right, now we have a loof. We, we never have to spend the mana on Everosin. All right, so big aloof droop. Unless I want to do this into a loof. No, we just play a loof. We made it. Yay. But our stuff did it. Orn is gone. That's pretty useful. See you later, Orn. I know. You're gonna. You have a. You have a four cost draw, Orn. I don't know why you're complaining. Like it's. It's fine. All right. Um. We keep our mana up, we attack with everything. Because right now we just want to shuffle stuff. 
comes to the deck. So, Brahm is going to pull in this guy, probably. Sure. You will live to regret it. We'll see. Maybe. Possibly. Imagine if he takes everything to face. We just don't want him to go wide. Like, I, I don't want him going wide. Everything else is okay. So, As long as he's not wide, we have chump blockers. We have one freeze for the Overwhelm on Orn. He hasn't found an Overwhelm weapon yet, either. He's leveling uh, Jax, which is a little bit annoying, but I can deal with Jax. Hopefully no fish fight. What's he going to do with fish fight? Off of who? Who's going to fish fight me? Fish fight just levels Braum, which is kind of nice. Braum can actually even naturally block Orn. Also, don't forget that uh, I can destroy a weapon with Entomb. It's a big deal. Alright, Conchologist is amazing here. For many reasons. I wonder if I fish fight, if I if I buff for fish fight or not, or do I freeze? Because buffing levels wrong. Um, burst summon, destroy a landmark. Oh, I don't know. I'm really not sure. Bandel City Tellstones, Yordle Portal is not bad. I'm going to go for Portal. It does level Nora. That is true. What does Tellstones give me? There's no landmark. I guess it's a two-way buff. I, I think I let Braum die. Honestly. Alright, he doesn't have anything. So we just... Uh... It's fine. Do we Entomb Orn? Ever? I think we Entomb Orn. Like, if he plays Orn, I think we just Entomb him. Well, it depends, because he's going to have no mana to buff Orn. So we can actually do the math. And uh, theoretically, level Braum off of him nicely. Pokey stick our own Braum. I mean, we're always playing Portapalooza here. Because if we play double Portapalooza, I have a five attack board. All right, no Orn to worry about. Nice. Uh, so it's definitely Portapalooza. That was not expected. You actually lose the timer. I'm pretty sure we attack here. Good luck. Have fun. We attack and see what happens. See how he blocks. Pull the overwhelm. Why? I actually hate this more. Overwhelm, I can free. I, I, I have good enough blockers for Overwhelm. I could go for lethal this turn. By buffing a unit. But no, I always keep freeze. My, my, I, it's more about my lose condition. I'm, I'm already winning pretty hard. It's, a, all, it's more about not losing than it is about winning. So Nora's going to level very, very soon. I don't know how negative time works. I'm not sure. I don't understand the clock, honestly. I really don't get it. I don't understand it. So Brom leveled. Brom now actually gives me Nora level up really easy for every block he does. Play Portal so not to burn a card. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm playing Twisted Catalyzer. Oh, you mean not to burn a card up the... I don't care. We just want to heal face as well. So we're playing this. We're looking great. He's going to pop Orn now. So here comes the Orn. We know Orn is coming. Oh, wow, he doesn't have... <laughs> he doesn't have Orn. Oh, no! My brother in Christ. If you don't have Orn, I, I really don't know how you're going to win this, bro. I just don't know. I, I, don't, I don't see it. I really don't see it. Bro, we're, we're just way too powerful. Our, our Brom Nora is, uh, is just unstoppable. Bro, I feel like batting deep. I'm not even kidding. I don't want to play versus deep. I hate playing... Chat, I hate playing versus deep. Stop it. I hate it. I hate deep so much. I hate, 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 hate deep. 
they worked again, of course, what do you expect? All right. Can he stop me fast enough with his Paragon's Peak? I just need to win really quick. I just need a lot of these. As long as I have a lot of Delves in the past, I'm not really worried. It's a good start, yeah. Because I'm fine every Delve in the past. We, just, we also need to find Rise, though, early. <laughs> Yo, I'm, I'm so dirty, dude. We're so dirty, dude. Oh, you gotta love it. All right, we have a really good drum solo as well here. I got unlucky there. I think I want to get rid of his ramp. Before I play Rise. Maybe I'm wrong. I think getting rid of the ramp is really useful. Because uh, now, now this this will delay him by one turn. It delays his... Uh, it delays his um, six cost landmark by one turn. I don't care about Trundle. Trundle's fine. Yeah. Expected. Pop a uh, flow if I want it. I'm not sure if I'm going to want it, but I'm just going to proc it. That's a misplay. He should have... Actually, no, it's, is it a misplay? No, it's not. It's the same thing. Doesn't make a difference. I need to play Rise. Maybe I shouldn't have proc Flow there. Maybe proccing Flow is wrong. Alright, Rise it is. I need to shuffle these things in. Maybe I should have played Rise last turn. But getting rid of his ramp was kind of useful. He ramped really hard, though. Holy crap. Dude, this guy ramped like an absolute madman. Hey, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me some delves in the past, please. Thank you. Mhm. Mm All right, now, now give me the mana one. I'm, 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 I'm needing the mana one. Thank you. <laughs> How do I get away with it? I cannot stand by. Bro, I'm so evil. Ah, okay. What do we have here? A deny wouldn't be bad. I, I, I kind of dig denies. That's actually pretty good as well. That is true. He does have destroy all landmarks. That is a very good point. Okay. We just recall it, and we attack with the with uh with all three. It still works, right? Let's go. Let's go. Give me the stuff. Stuff makes happy. Love it. I'm looking for Deny. Then again, I don't really need Deny for Field of Rush. Field of Rush doesn't win. I, I just win versus Field of Rush by playing Delve of the Past, right? The 8-cost card is really bad. Like, that's what we want to deny. We can't let him level this guy up, though. That's 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 blasphemy. To let him level Aurelian Soul is blasphemous, chat. No, wait, what am I doing? I do this. Into getting my mana back. Into this. Of course. That's a, that's a great draw as well. No, I'm, I'm just thinking if my hand is overfilled. Am I, am I in trouble with my hand being too full? If I can just top deck a natural one of these, I don't have to worry about a lot of things, but we'll see. <laughs> so stupid. It's so stupid! <laughs> Why do you happen? Wait, no way! He has the 8 cost! He has the 8 cost! No, don't obliterate! He, what if he has the 8 cost? No! 
Listen, I'm not a coward, chat. I believe! Hey, give it to me! Bro, I can still get it. Give it to me! No! Give it to me! We're pretty safe at the moment. We're actually pretty safe. That was really bad for us. Like, really, 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 really bad. But, watch me top take deny. Watch me. I'm gonna ban this game, chat. I'm gonna ban this game, bro. Okay, we didn't top take deny. We're, we're safe. We're fine. If we are to thrive, we must truly be free. He's busy kick doubling. Maybe he is. Maybe he is. He might be. I got a room prison. What are you gonna do? Wait, he can't play Aurelian Soul now. That's a misplay. There's a deny, okay. We can rebuild. I believe in rebuilding this. I believe in the rebuild. I will not punish the innocent for past crimes. <sighs> what spells has he played, chat? What spells has this man played? Has he played any spells? He played Field of Rush, it's true. Take his field of rush. Do we feel the rush? Do we ever feel the rush here? No, you understand. I will stand this madness. No he can turn everything into a into a into a into a landmark though. No, feel the rush is good because I need, if I if I lose my, my my rise, I'm good. Oh my god, bro. He is really good with Field of Rush, though. I can win this turn. He's just going to stun me with Infinite Dragon. But he doesn't know that. He doesn't know I have it. Let's draw cards. If is gone, perhaps he doesn't know what I have. That's fine. I let War Mother's Call go through every time. I have too many stuns to cure. I know what I must do. I kind of need board space anyway. Summon Yi. No, later. I warned you. Keep blocker. I'm gonna I'm gonna have blockers, chat. Look what I have in my hand. Stop it. What what, what do you mean keep blocker? I I, I want to get rid of these. I want to play Yi on board. I'm gonna overwrite them anyway. I might as well injure this, right? I never play this now, for many reasons. I have double stun. I have triple stun in hand. I just need a. I need a. So he needs to play something strong here. I'm hoping there's no rally and soul. I'm good. Perfect. Perfect. Your 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 deck is trash, by the way. I'm gonna put out your deck is trash. Trash, I say. Doesn't matter. All right now, now we develop like like the madmen that we are. I don't want to kill that, actually. Funny enough, I don't want to kill that. Actually, I kind of do. Draw cards. Their power bent your will, but they cannot doom the rest. It's pretty good. I have too many stuns. I have way too many stuns. What the hell is that? What the hell is that play? What? We have no atrocities. What do you? What do you... There's no way I don't draw it. Spell thief with Otterpus spell. 
Who cares if Aurelian levels chat? You think I care? You know how many of these I have in my deck? <laughs> I've been, it's been raining. It's been raining um, freaking landmarks. I have so many. It's over. Open attack lethal. He had to pull me in with Aurelian Soul. I would have still double stunned Aurelian Soul. It wouldn't have mattered. I won the game twice. Absolutely. What did you expect? <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. That, that was only one win, though. I got I to gotta beat him twice. Now Brom Norris coming up. Now it's Brom Norris time to shine. Now you understand. Enough. He needed to play infinite. Peace! If you wish, but you must. Uh, very nice. Now he has to face the terror that is Brahm Nora. Bro, I'd be I'd be terrified, especially in the hands of the Brahm Nora expert. I I I'd, I'd be I'd be terrified. I wouldn't know what to. I, me personally, if I was you, Soldier of God, I would just quit. I, I'd run away. Until what time you're playing, dude? I don't know. I, I have to like surrender. I have no. This is why I don't play tournaments. I have no time for all these games. It's too many games. All right, where's my nine cost card? Three, two, one, ping. Nope. It can slow him down. It's not worth it. Not. I. I need other cards. There are other cards more important than puzzling signpost. This is extremely important. Um, this is extremely important. Short chance actually very there. That's, that's the card. We got the card. The card that destroys all weapons. Woo! <laughs> okay. All right, all right, all right. All right, we got the card. We got the card. We should have this, chat. We should have this game, hopefully. Get some portals. I'm going to take early game damage. That's, that's just, it is what it is. I'll be taking damage early on. It is what it is. That's annoying. It's a lot of value for him, unfortunately. That's really good. He has to open attack. You had to open attack there. I'm sorry, brother. You, you misplayed. That's a misplay, by the way. It's a massive misplay. He might only attack with this. Oh, wow. Free kill. Um, I'm good with this. Now, we play this on mana 5, right? Yeah, mana 5. We want to get rid of his Aatroxes ASAP. We probably open attack, though. Um, we don't play Spirits Unleashed yet. Unless we get, like, double portal or something stupid. We want to force him to place four mana strike card if he has it. Okay. Uh, we pop Spirits Unleashed. Now, all these portals that you see are buffed without taking damage, which is insane. We play um, Aloof next turn to discard his Aatrox, which is huge. It's actually massive value. He drew Aatrox, right? Did he draw Aatrox yet or not? Do we know? Do we know if he drew Aatrox or not? Oh, that's really unlucky. They fear my name. I mean, this is going to draw me portals. But we're losing Nora if we play this. And it's going to be Teammaker into Troll Chant. I wasn't sure if it was the animation for this guy or someone else. All right, we have three portals. This is exactly what you don't want to loop. A loop is for curving out. I mean, we have so many portals that um, we, we should get really good defenses. I think I have to play a loop here, though. I think I'm just forced to... Dude, what's, what, where the hell are my portals? All right, let's get rid of uh, Big Dude. Aatrox is gone. He's going to play Aatrox. Maybe... He also wants to level up Kane. Oh, he's not going to play Aatrox. Oh, that's huge. Okay. So if he does this, he levels up, but now I have a very good open attack. Lavaka, what do you mean? Wait, I might lose this, actually. This might be a loss, because he might just kill me in one shot. If I'm not very careful. Uh, we just swing here. He has lifesteal, but it is what it is. Into the abyss. 
We're, we're kind of low on HP. He's gonna go elusive Kane. And I gotta think about what, what my odds are of dying here. Oh my god, he didn't go elusive Kane. What the hell? I think I'm playing Conchologist here to look for answers. Because he doesn't have enough mana to level up his uh, Aatrox. That's a really good one. Spell Shield? Spell Shield is one of the reasons. There's, there's many reasons why. Wait, what? Why would he get rid of... What? What's he doing? Save mana very nice if... No, Aatrox doesn't matter. Because uh, he has Overwhelm. Aatrox doesn't have Overwhelm. Which is a big deal. I'm extremely confused. I think he's throwing on purpose. Come on in. I think he just gave up. Hey, Dactor, wait, what's the nerf? Oh, drawing Aatrox. Oh, he's trying to draw Aatrox. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. He didn't know. My poor friend. You didn't even kill it. Wow. It's kind of sick. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Um, I think we do play this. I think it's too much damage being represented. That's, that's six damage. Seven damage to face, actually. I, he can't play a blocker that, that does more than seven damage to Kenny. I don't think there's a way to do it. Let him cook. I don't think there's a blocker that can... That can... All right. I should have attacked last with this, by the way. Okay. Nice freeze. Uh, double freeze, okay. I'm not mad at that. He's afraid of me playing the Freljord plus three attack card. When you kill an ally, heal me to full? I think not. I'm not gonna let him heal to full here. I want him to stay injured. He has Challenger. I'm going to overwrite this Tavern Keeper, I'm pretty sure. There are some weird lethals he could have. I don't want a 1 HP unit on the board when he has Overwhelms. Now everything he attacks literally kills him as well. He could have a Signature card though. He could have Keen's Shadow Step. It's a bit annoying. I think what's going to happen is he's going to play... Uh, this. And I'm going to laugh at his face with this. I think that's the plan here. I think that's going to happen. I'm, I'm going I'm to count it down in five, four, three. What good is freedom to the dead? And that works as well. Yo, we're so evil, chat. Bro, we're only halfway? Wait, play is only available for another 45 minutes? There's no time? Oh, my brain, dude. I don't want to deal with this. I really don't. Even though this is really good against me, I just don't want to play Allow it. I don't... Oh. <laughs> the band bait, I love it. I love the band bait. Bro, we've got the greatest band bait of all time. We have, we, we chose that aggro, like that's the only deck they recognize. They're like, yeah, I'm not gonna play versus that. All right, this is the only deck I'm really worried about. This deck can actually mini morph and kill and do everything really well. So let's, uh, let's see if we can get a win. Not the best hand. Um, it's, it's honestly not the best hand for this matchup. You really need to get the two mana cost card to kill out. Oh, that's actually really good though. Because this can burst out and block the three two. So we're, we're passing on Eye of the Dragon because we might need a three mana spell. Beautiful pass. He plays 3-2. Obviously. Oh, he doesn't have it. Oh, never mind. Oh, then we're fine to play Eye of the Dragon. Nice. He doesn't have the 3-2. That's huge. That's a huge value. We don't attack here. Okay, let's see. We definitely block, though. It's fine with me.
That's really sick. That's a really good draw. We don't want Rise to die this turn. I gotta play Rise. I don't have a choice. I have to play Rise to shuffle these into the deck. I've got good stuff next turn. We have two Rises anyway, so it's not the end of the world. I don't want to open with Rise because of just Vengeance. Fine green. There's a lot of good things we can find. This is only dealing 3 damage. I can find Heal Rise to slow him down. Take a look. Deal 2 with the weakest unit. It's pretty good. That's really strong. Do I play Master Yi here? I wonder. I think I just dropped Master Yi. With no shame. No, we just drop Master Yi. Let him waste his darkness on Master Yi. Perfect. I really wanted that to happen. So Vagar now dies to this almost every time. He almost always dies to Ryze's Realm Warp. That was a really good bait. Uh... Healing, Nexus, versus Rune Prison. It's definitely healing. How can the pursuit of love it's almost certainly healing here. So, Vagar dies, which is huge. I cannot stand by in the face of apocalypse! What is that supposed to be? I'm not mad at that. I'm really not mad at that. Long road wow. Long road ahead. Uh... Let's slow him down. Let's play Unworthy Soul here. Just slow him down a lot. Yeah, recall send an attack is the play. 100%. He's really, really, really low on tempo right now. And I have another Rise in hand, which is sick. Like, we have all the value. We can actually even win next turn, theoretically. This is better than Mono Shadow Wells, yes. It feels really good. What's his play now? One mana ping would work. It's a bit unlucky, but I'm going to play it anyway. Oh my god, that's so unlucky. That's ridiculously unlucky. I mean, I do have Rich Entreat. That's very, very unlucky. Let him cook, yeah. You need to pop my spell shield somehow. What are you doing? I don't understand what he's doing. I want to prank. That deals five damage next turn. Do I ever recall that? I think I recall that. Do I recall that? I'm pretty sure I do, yes. You want to be a man efficient? <laughs> See ya! Oh, life is good sometimes, chat. Sometimes you just, you just enjoy these things, dude. Sometimes you just have fun, you know? And of course, for our piece de la resistance, we have Baram Nora. 
He can't handle the rise. Nobody can. Honestly, who can handle the rise? Can't have fun versus Ionia? Absolutely not. I need two drops. Something that can play on two. Perfect. Uh, because he has a 3-2, three, three right? I need to be able to stop the 3-2. From striking face. That's why we need this card. It's extremely important. Mom. And, I mean, he could do that plus one mana deal one damage. He has that option. That, that's the card we have to play around. Hmm. Flash Freeze to stop Lifesteal? I kind of like Inner Beast. I don't have any buffs in hand at the moment. I'm, I'm a fan of Inner Beast here. It's good on Braum as well. Stand Swap is super good for Braum. It is. Yes. Giving Braum Overwhelm is something lethal as well. Pass. You might have another one of those, which is annoying. That dies to this. Thank God he didn't hit it. I'm pretty happy with that. Alright, Braum is next. He's probably playing Vagar here, which really sucks. I'm unhappy about Vagar here. But whatever. Let's play Braum. I mean, Vagar is just a thing. I have Spirits Unleashed into killing Vagar if I want. Wait, what? What the hell is that? Ping face? What? I'm not, I'm not- listen, I'm actually not mad at this. This is- this is looking great. This is looking fan-freaking-tastic. Oh, wow, that's a really good card, because now he can't revive Vagar if I play Vagar. And we have Brahm's take card if we want to, but we- I'm probably playing Troll Chant instead. Maybe he minimorphs here. I don't hate minimorph. Vengeance. I wonder if I Poke Stick myself versus Vengeance. Two mana, four, four. Two mana, four, three. Yeah, I do. It's it's an overwhelm unit. It does a lot of damage to face. And this is a game where you want to do a lot of damage to face. Okay. What? What happened? Wait, did I do something wrong? Every little thing, huh? Wrong Pokey? No, I, wa I want this. That's not the wrong Pokey. Oh, oh, the one he didn't... Oh, the one he saw. Oh, I see. Yeah, you're right. That was the wrong Pokey, right. We just need to push damage. This dies to darkness. It is what it is. No Vagars to worry about. Minimorph. We just can't let him scale this. So he can't play Vagar this turn. I can still play, play Braum after a chat. I need to put pressure on him. It's very important to play with pressure here. It's worth it, for sure. He has Ruination coming up, so we just play very, very, very slowly now. That unit does nothing. It literally doesn't even work. Okay, now he has no Ruination. Eight mana. Um, and now we just go wide. No, we never opened. He's at 8 mana. He's not at... If he had more mana, I wouldn't. He could play a 7 cost unit. What is this card? Who's the card? Deal 3. He blocks for 4. Pull this in. I can let Brom die here. That's fine. Brom doesn't need to survive. That's a really strong board state. I'm quite happy with that. I could play Poke Stick to stop this from interfering with me, but it's whatever. We have one portal in the deck as well. We have three portals in the deck. He has to Ruination. It's really coming down to Ruinating here. He's going to kill Braum off. I don't really care. It's a lot of uh, effort to kill Braum here. So, it's whatever. Yeah, sure. He doesn't have Ruination mana next turn. This is... Just go wide. He spent all of his mana. He can't Ruinate. So, yeah. We're, we're looking great. Hey, what's up, Living Shad? How you doing, man? 
We have a fantastic open attack with three portals, theoretically. I can play Portapalooza plus Pokestake this turn. Work the fabric, minions. Work it. That would be all. Look, a thing. Elf, that's not ours. It increases odds of what would he discard? Oh, beautiful. I'm confused. Wait, wait, what? Oh, I drew Barry nice. He discarded Runation. Okay. Nice. My open attack is really strong. Like, really, really strong. Especially because I have two portals. I'm hitting one very often. Nice attack. Peace! Woohoo! Another game, another win. Yeah, you just can't stop the Brum Nora. They're just unstoppable, dude. They cannot be stopped. Way too powerful. Pro, every match is half an hour. Every match is half an hour. What? What is this? Oh my god. Single combats are pretty bad. Oh. <laughs> Somebody knows, chat. Somebody is aware. Someone's aware of the Brom Nora massacre that was occurring. They could hear. Ah, oh, okay. That, that was a smart ban. I agree with that one. That's the ban I would do as well. They know. They know. They absolutely know. Oh, wow. That's a nice hand. I'm just going to keep this entire hand. Open with Legion Rearguard into Mirai Warden into like a 1 and 2 drop. Oh my god, this is this is unethical. This is absolutely unethical. I've never seen such ethics. Let's get to work. Okay, ready. That's kind of sad. That's kind of sad. I have to admit that's kind of sad. Can you can we admit that's kind of sad chat? The perfect answer? Really, bro? Is this what the world is coming to? Can we admit he had the perfect answer? Bro, what is that? He spent no mana. The, my man spent no mana. He doesn't even know what mana is. What is mana? Mariah was better? No, because I have a 3 3 that can hit. Maybe Mariah was better. Maybe you're right. I don't even know, bro. I don't even know what's happening. I have to attack. I was not going to attack. I was going to set up a Twisted Fate here, but... Oh, dude, this is so cringe. Wait, I need to push the damage this turn. I can't let him get away with not attacking there. It's just... Okay, um, Twisted Fate probably draws the card at this point. It's so sad. It's a really good draw for next turn. Six mana deal two, deal three to two units. Okay. Um, TF definitely does this. Red card. Red card is insane. Because it sets up uh, good trades with both of these. I actually trade off the Twisted Fate, though, I think. Because this is a 3-3 three, three if I play this next turn. Okay. We've got a very good House Spider. This gets ultra buffed. And he can't block TF. Right. Not bad. That's pretty solid. Six mana kill two units. I have Noxian Fervor if I want it. Unfortunate, but whatever. Um... Do I go face or do I kill off a blocker? I think I kill off a blocker, actually. Um, reason being, I'm probably pushing a little bit more damage long-term with two two attack units. I'm pushing one less damage this turn, but that he doesn't have, like, deal one to everything, hopefully. So I even though we're doing one less damage this turn, we're, if this survives for a turn, we might be pushing more damage long-term with it. Uh, I really need units. Lux here is just horrendous for us. That's pretty good if he has uh, Jace, though. He needs Challenger on that. Maybe I should have stunned it. Never lost a fair game. I don't know why he attacked. He should have passed. That can block, so might as well. I don't have enough damage in hand to justify not killing off the units. So the first Noxian Fervor is paying itself off. Nice. Fervor blocker. I, got this. <sighs> I can't discard anything from this. But I, I'm getting really close to lethal here. 
We, we are getting very close to lethal, and this deck runs no healing. I just need one more decimate. I did attack. Bring in. What was that spell he was going to play? Interesting. Pretty bad for us. That's really bad. I'll try. That's huge. Decimate wins now. He, he can't stop Decimate. He legit can't stop Decimate if we get it. Top Duke. Decimata Top Duke. Wait, that's that's risky of him to play. All right, Decimate Top Deck, please. Just, just give it. Give me, 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 give me the Decimate Top Deck. I need. I, I never asked you for anything, game. I want to be an aggro player at heart. <laughs> Bro, what the hell is that? I need to pass here. Oh my god. I need to pass. No, I can't pass. He has open open attack lethal. It's a bird. He wins with concerted strike. He wins with. So this man has. Mosquito. Jesus Christ. Nice hand. It's so cringe. Watch me top deck decimate. It's, it's, it's the saddest thing ever. Watch me top deck decimate. Here it comes. Three. Two. One. I, I, I. Okay, that doesn't work. GG. We tried. Ah. Uh, we, got, we got kind of unlucky there. Like, his opener was insane. He had an insane opener. Insane opener. No Sag. Yeah. Miss, I, miss, I didn't, I misplayed nothing. I didn't misplay anything. I played it perfect. One, two, three. Okay, one, two, three, four. It's pretty good. He has a way to kill this, unfortunately. One mana kill. Perfect. Okay. Oh, he wants to play that game. Okay, you know what? I'm not mad at this. I'll play the game that he wants to that he wishes to play. No problem. No problem. Um, do I actually block this? No. I think I never do. Two drop would be sick. Mirai Warden. Um, okay, how spider works as well. Actually, I should have played this first because of Vile Feast. I should have played this first. It was a misplay. I'm not mad at that. We got a pretty good attack here. Quite a lot of damage. He's gonna block the two, the one one, I think. Yep, nice. That's pretty good for us. We got a very good next turn. He doesn't have the mushrooms necessary. Actually, he does. He has he has mushroom cloud here. He can actually burst. This force is pretty good. We, there's no reason to play TF yet. He's likely to play more units. Timo's dead? No, he's not, because he, he burst levels. He, he's not dead, chat. He burst levels. If I play deal one to everything, he burst levels. I have to give him a chance to uh, develop units. I'm always up for a round this also means Timo can't block anything. And I have make it rain if I want to. Wait, what? Do I make it rain now? 
And just push four. How much damage does make it rain? I can't replay Misfortune. I mean, let's think about this. Is it replaying her better? Yeah, but I can't replay her this turn. And I can't target this. I think we just swing. I don't think... I think he's going to be a Papaya here and want to keep his Teemo alive. And I kind of want to play for that. I think he wants to win with Mushrooms. He's going to be greedy with Nemo. I think this is correct. Missed 5 to face. Yeah, I'm sure I did, chat. I, I missed real hard. Big miss by me. Absolutely. You guys are geniuses. Hello, new best friend. Order, entropy, a never ending cycle. GG. This has to be lethal, right? Along with this card. It has to be. He's gonna drain now. I'm expecting three mana drain too. This can deny any drain, except for if he does it on this guy. Interesting solution. Can spoil the surprise? Nice. You see, chat? We did not throw by not playing Make It Rain. The misfortune was important. I knew he was going to block with Teemo. People are, people are greedy with Teemo, chat. When they have Teemo leveled up, they're like, I gotta double my mushrooms. I believe in Rise as well, chat. But he has vengeances. And I have very few ways to deal with Teemo. Rise time, I'm going to try my best. Come on, Rise, don't fail us. Don't fail us, Rise. I believe in you. I'm gonna keep a vengeance only because I got this. I'm, I'm gonna keep this for vengeance. It's, it's just it's just really good tempo. Okay, both games he got Teemo turn one. Nice, nice play by him. The landmark can kill Teemo. Yes, I'm aware. And it's always gonna target Teemo, which is kind of nice. I'm on it. No, obviously not. <sighs> okay. It is what it is. It's really good. Healing is not bad. I think healing is better than drawing in this matchup. I gotta kill Teemos. If he's if he's a Teemo main, I just gotta kill the Teemos, right? It's extremely important for these Teemos just to die. That's just extremely important. I, I, I can't not do that. That's just super strong. Because now, uh, if he plays another team, I just play this again. Now, we want we want the Vengeances to hit Master Yi's. We pass here. Because uh, he's burning three mana, four mana, and we're burning one. We just take the mana advantage. Master Yi's pretty sick. We'll play Rise next turn. I just want Vengeance on this. One cut of many. Okay. Uh, this does two damage to him. We kill for two. Let's start. Let's start hurting Heimer. I didn't proc. What is it called? So I'm just going to play this as well. I kind of want to have him on board. This might be wrong. But I think it's right. It makes his attack a lot worse. It also does proc flow, which is kind of nice. And getting rid of Thermo is really good as well. He doesn't matter. I'm aware. But um, proccing flow and reducing the cost of one card is huge. Like three mana deny, people don't play around that. Nobody plays around 3 mana deny. Nobody. Nobody plays around that. 3 mana homecoming, they do play. Okay, that's a, that's a, that's, a, that's an amazing draw. How can I help? 
Vengeance mana. level this timer, which kind of sucks. That's really bad for us. Um... Him leveling there is really, really bad for us. It's really, really bad. Nice. Uh, I think I recall Heimer. But then I take so much damage. Nine, I'm taking 15 damage to face. Wow. That's 15 to face. That's a lot of damage. My guy's dead anyway. Might as well recall him. Alright, we have uh, Rise coming on board. Rise kills a few units as well. Rise also heals me for two, so it's, it's kind of nice. And he gives me spell mana back. If he has deal 5 to face, I mean, it's very unlikely he has deal 5 to face. But whatever. I long for the day. My name he recall the turret. I what will it be cost? Mage. 6. Um, I'm just going to have to hope that I have ways to stop the turret. Like that I, can, I, I have a lot of top decks I can get. This gives me a lot of draw as well. Like I'm, I'm not... I'm, I'm, so, I'm super dead here, but whatever. Uh, get our spell mana back with this play. We have a lot of mana now, thankfully. I would block with a 2-1, personally. I would just keep these here. That has no freezes. It has freezes, doesn't it? Pretty sure it does. Wow. I think that's a deny. I hate that play. I really dislike that play. There's a problem, this can't block these guys, but we'll see what happens. He kills his own elusive. No, he doesn't. You I will stand this madness no longer. Time trick can be helpful. Time trick can pop out uh, the burst speed blocker. The 3 2. <sighs> unworthy soul versus three sisters. It's probably unworthy soul here, I would say. No. No, it's, it's definitely this. Because uh, it costs 6 to replay. It's a tempo loss for him. It's a really hard tempo loss. Why won't you listen? And it's also 3 mana, whereas Freeze is 4 mana. He wins with double Mystic Shot. We pass here, obviously. For like a million reasons. What seems to be the problem? Uh, heal with rise. I, I heal on attack. Now you will understand. Enough. This cannot stand. I know what I must do. I didn't get any draw cards. This is so sick. We're, we're we're being very very unlucky here. It's it's really really hard to do this. We reset Heimer's level, which is huge, by the way. Unlucky game. We're going to lose this because we're drawing really bad. Like, our deck is full of draw. I don't think people realize how much draw we actually have. And we're not getting it. Vengeance. Okay. Really unlucky, yes. Very unlucky. A double elusive as well. You re and redraw him, man. Double elusive is disgusting. Do I have any way to win this game? Uh, I actually have a way to win. There is a way to win. Um, I can draw my 5 mana draw 2 cards and then draw 2 recalls. Like, that is very doable. It's definitely, it's definitely doable to recall this. Like, we can, we can survive this easily. If we draw, like, we have so much draw in our deck. That's not it. Wow. Like, we have never not had a full hand with this. 
That's the first time we've ever, like, ended up top decking. Like, this deck should never top deck. Alright, it is what it is. It is what it is. What can you do? Still This is the only deck that can outscale uh, Nora. Funny enough, that's the only deck that outscales Nora. Nora can outscale this deck. Let's try to get rid of this. But, um, Bard actually goes for, like, 30, 30 HP units. I, I can't compete with um, Bard. Ramp, though? It is what it is. I gotta somehow win with aggro. Like, he's countering my aggro pretty hard here. Like, my aggro is being super hard countered. I just gotta go really fast, development. I'm hoping for three one-drops. Like, one-drop into double one-drop. If not, we'll play Legion into Arena. Not it. The one mana 2 2 would be amazing to find. Like, that would be disgusting if we can find that. Come on, one mana 2 2, please. Boop. Nope. The sun's out, the crowd's ready. Let's it. It's a lot of damage turn one, but turn two, by the way. Like, six to face is significant. We play Misfortune, and then we play usually Legion to Vision, I would say. Oh, wow. Wait, 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 wait. So he has single combat. I have my orders. I think we just play Eye of Nine here and attack. It's the widest we can go, and we have a Arena Battlecaster. If I play something and he plays like Shivana, it's too much uh, too much value in one, one shot. It's a really good swing. Did you play Harry Potter? Uh, not today. I'm, I'm, I got stuck playing something else, chat. I'm so stupid. I got stuck playing the stupidest thing of my life. I don't know why I did it. I'm playing a freaking gauntlet that takes like 5,000 hours to finish! Okay, down to 8. I mean, double decimate wins. And, uh, losing that guy is weird. I would have, like, hit something else like this. I don't like his play that much. Wow, his hand, we won. That's, that's GG. That's actually just GG. I don't see how he possibly stops us now. Challenger, Dragon, I laugh at his face. Just drop him. Shivana? Versus Shivana, we're just playing Misfortune, right? Yeah. I'm one of the good guys, but he plays bad. single combat, I couldn't care less because of this. Like, it's great. Just play single combat, do it. I dare you to play single combat. Oh, wow. Alright, I have Nyoka Bruce. Atuk! It's a lot of damage. We can win with TF if we just let it go through. We just win with TF here. I think just let it go through. I can vision, but then he can have another single combat. Nowhere to run. I'll be damned. He has to kill this off as well. Like he has, he has so many ways to die. He's almost always going to play any unit he possibly has. Because he needs to actually play for tempo on the board. Uh, he had to play a unit there. If he would have played, like, a healing spell, he would have just not had enough time. Alright, nice. I got this made anyway, I'm over. And maybe it can be a bit annoying. Although, then if he harrowings, I have 9 mana to turn everything into a landmark. I laugh at his harrowing. And I do have 5 mana deal 1 to everything. Although, wait, did they buff the egg to 2 HP now? I forget. Is the egg 2 HP again? It's not, okay, all right. We keep one portal card at the very least. It's your favorite deck of the patch? Very hard to say. It's too early to say. Dude, this best of three sucks. This takes way too long. It takes way too long, dude. Now, Avalanche is a card. Avalanche is actually a really, really good card. 
But I like getting rid of it early. If he wants to avalanche him, I guess it's fine. Then he can't ramp properly. So. There's ramp, yeah. But let him ramp. Safe for Pokey. This deck usually runs like less avalanches, more ravines. And this is good because he's not getting healing out of it. Like he lost value from that Vile Feast. He got no drain from it. Alright. Okay. It's fine. He's playing the combo card. That's fine. We'll have to Pokey stick it, but he wastes three mana doing that, so it's whatever. He could Avalanche. Entreat. Ooh, Entreat's kind of spicy. So is Yordle Portal, though. I'm gonna go with Shared Spoils, actually. I think that's the best card we have here. He wants... Okay, he's gonna pass here. It's fine. Portal? No port. Wow, this is so good. Dude, Minimorph is insane. Minimorph is actually insane. Like, it's stupid how good it is. Leave your bags at the door. What wondrous discoveries await below? Avalanche doesn't matter. Like, none of these units really matter versus Avalanche. Recall, yeah, it's really strong. Beautiful draw. Not a bad card. Anivia sees the day. Freaking hooray. Now, I can't let Anivia. I mean, do I mini more? Listen, there is a way to be super greedy here, chat. He might play the three mana cost. Oh no, I gotta play it now. I actually have to play because the Anivia attack is actually disastrous. It's actually, he could have the three cost spell, he might, but he's gonna play it after attacking because I have no blockers for Anivia. So he's gonna. I can't let him um, do Anivia's attack here. I literally just can't allow that to happen. It, it cost me the game because I, I can't let him hit with Anivia. I actually misplayed. I should have saved Pokey Stick for this. Let's take this I misplayed that. That was a misplay. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna block it though. Because he can't block. I I I don't actually at this point I don't really mind if he ramps. Let him ramp. The ramping doesn't matter that much. Bro, what a draw. What is that? Wait, is there any way he runs out of Anivias? <laughs> yeah, imagine we get rid of all of his Anivias, dude. Imagine how sick that would be. That would be disgusting. Because he's already fully ramped. Like, this this, this this, pig literally has done nothing all game. We have 11 mana. We have enough mana for Spirits Unleashed into Minimorph number 2. With Rekindler? Yeah, but he, you, I, I've never killed an Anivia. So it doesn't work. Rekindler doesn't work. And we can recall Anivia with this as well. Which is kind of sick. That's so disgusting. Is he going to Ruination this? I mean, can you possibly Ruination this? Avalanche is fine. Avalanche literally does nothing. My research. Welcome to the team. We recall that Anivia like nobody's business. Three. Wow, he doesn't have Anivia. That's so disgusting as well. Okay. Ah. So we got a lot of damage to face. I open time. swing because of Ruination. This is annoying for him. He can freeze. He can definitely freeze stuff if he wants to. He's not dead. Vengeance is fantastic. Resolve. Now we play Nora. Play Portal actually first. Maybe I should have. Oh, I, I, maybe I should have done that before attacking. Play Nora here. I might have misplayed there. I should have done that before attacking. What? Oh, what a good draw! <laughs> Yo, I want to show you the best part about this. Oh wait, I want to show you the best part about this chat. Look at this. 
Look at this. <laughs> Back to your hand you go, brother! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Now he plays a three mana. Um, destroy his own card. He's gonna play the... What is it called? Kill your own unit and resummon with killer. Here comes three. Two. Absolutely. Absolutely a Slytherin main. Oh my goodness, dude. That's so unethical. Oh my goodness. That's actually murder. Minimorph self? No, I need Minimorph in case he has a, like, a freeze. Oh, so good. How do we, how do we do it, chat? How do we keep doing this to our, to our opponents? No! The timer ran out, chat! No! We lost again! We get no more bouts! We're out of time! Bro, we went four minutes late! Okay, wait, wait. If I win tomorrow, does that mean I get to play a new one tomorrow? Or can we only play one per day? Are you sure? Okay, that's not that bad then. The hell is this deck? I think I can... I don't want to play versus uh, Katarina Leona. That seems annoying to play against. Aha! And this deck is literally called Band Bait. All right, we're good. We're diving in, chat. No, we literally p only picked this deck to get it banned every time. Because I wanted to play these two decks. It was actually genius. Thank you for 12 months of support. I appreciate that. All right. <clears throat> Let's look for our win conditions. Uh, I have the dragons actually kind of important because uh, he's going to have a lot of aggro and this can just chump luck every time for one. Although if he has misfortune on board, it's a bit more annoying, but still. If he doesn't draw misfortune, this deck sucks, by the way. Like, this deck is only good if you draw misfortune. I've played this deck when it first came out. You need to draw misfortune. It's only three of in the deck. It's not easy to draw misfortune. It's actually really hard to do. Yo, Ryan, thank you for nine months as well. How did the stream go today, nerd? I'm not a nerd. I'm a geek. There's a difference. But it's going pretty good. No complaints here. Not all mean well. No complaints for me. As long as he doesn't draw his Forcer, we're fine. Like, that's that's all I got at hope. No pray, no pay. Oh, he plays a real and I just lose the game. Tell me something, gay. Hey, Krabby. That's my resting face. Did Richard try to ruin your game? Will you make it free? Ah, this stops so much damage. Maybe get rid of and I can replay into Steel energy. Tempest. This this delays misfortune by an entire turn, which is really good for us. And we heal to full, basically. Everything's better with company. Says you. What is this? Bro. Never see us coming. All right, let's do this. Um, the reason I'm doing this, I want to get a Dragonling on the board to attack with. So I, ha I have full HP, basically. And then I'm going to play Rise, and then I can use the health for later. You can do this. Yes, I can. I absolutely can. So we've, uh, we've saved ourselves some suffering here. We don't need a Dragon Link to defend with. He has two elusives. It doesn't really even help us much. I need to shuffle more of these in the, in the, in the, in the, in the deck. Oh, this is gonna suck so much. We're gonna have to take like 20 damage to face next turn. Dude, this is so unlucky he drew Misfortune this early. Did you find a two damage one? Yes, correct. 
I'm actually not mad at that. That actually doesn't do much for him. I might actually just three sisters this if he open attacks. I'm hoping he open attacks here. He just wins with blade dance so often. May my steps and my heart all lie there. Oh, dude. It's insane. That's so much damage. GG's. I don't think I'm dead yet. He has to have another blade dance to kill me. It's still winnable. Full speed ahead. Ready yourself. <sighs> it's not now. Don't you need the dragonlings? Love I can't block double elusive with him. He got really lucky with misfortune early. And uh, I'm not drawing what I need to draw, unfortunately. I have no way to proc uh, drum solo this turn either. It's unfortunate. If he has five mana recall, I'm kind of screwed as well. We'll see. Thank you, man. Thank you for eight months there, Winter Rough. I appreciate that. Thanks, buddy. I need more of these. That's not going to do it. I need Rune Prison, I think. I think I need Rune Prison here. For stun. I have no idea. I'll hope to trade off some stuff, if possible. We'll see what happens. Is he going to recall Rise? He's not. He might recall Rise now, though. Give me grace enough to mask my doubts. I'm no savior. It's good he's using this now, not later. Not GG yet. It's pretty close to GG though. We're healing to 9 HP here. And we have a stun card. Alright. <clears throat> we can find some really good cards here. Uh, this can give me burst blocker if I want. Miss Fortune is already leveled. That's insane. Fresh out of mercy. Overwhelmed gaming, on I, know. On me. I know. I'm not sure if I can survive this. The good thing is he didn't buff the elusives, so I can do this. Why won't you listen? Into this. Into this. I'm giving Blade Dance. That is true. I think I'll just let Rise die. I can replay Rise next turn. I keep my stun for if he does anything weird. If he has Blade Dances, he wins anyway. This is such an unlucky game. It's actually crazy how unlucky this game was. It's so unlucky. This That deck literally can't see play if he doesn't find Misfortune early. And he also got two elusive blockers that I can't block. But it's fine. We haven't lost yet. We'll beat him. I, I have absolute faith in my gameplay. The hell do we mean? What? Why did it give me a check mark? Alright. It's fine. It happens. He's gonna have a lot of combat cards. Uh I wanna keep Delvin I wanna keep three sisters here. It's very important to uh, be able to freeze. That's a good hand. This is a solid hand. Early landmarks, yes, are important, correct. I want to get out uh, Yi really early if possible. I want to play Yi into Rise and then play Delves in the past, basically. This is a very, very good card. That's a very strong card. It actually makes me want to play something a bit different here, but we'll see. I'm hoping for Strike card here. 
All right, if this has two or less HP, I attack every time, I think. Rise is either completely useless. Hey, Captain, how's the ship holding up? Still full of holes after you taunted that sea monster, you dolt. Don't risk? Of course I risk. Catch, catch is not that bad for me. He can't play catch also because I could just have any buff. Like, his signature card is literally plus two attack. We always take the hit. We want to start, like, forcing level ups here if possible. Now we play Rise. A calm heart. Quite often. This is a nice, nice level hit. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. All right, we got a lot of options. Our options are pretty dang good here. We want to kill Jax if possible. It's a nice E hit. It is. All right, now we just play Rise. Easy rice play. Hey, Captain, how's the he can't have quick attack on that, which is good. I'm no savior. I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah, that's pretty good for us. Pass. Nice. Pass. Okay. We need these delves in the past to start proccing now. One cut of many. It's free damage. I want to see what he develops before I do anything else. This stun is really good. I'm pretty confident now. We have a pretty good board. It's a co continuation, yes, correct. I have a bit of a bad start, but whatever. That's really, really strong, especially with the um, reduced cost. It's kind of nutty. All our mana's back. Nice. <clears throat> That's pretty sick going to 5 mana here. Okay. We just pass here. This is fine. He's very wide, unfortunately. He is very, very wide, but it doesn't matter. We've got really good stuff anyway. Vayne is a little bit scary, I have to admit. Vayne is a little scary. That's a very good draw, by the way. Jury Rig here is an amazing draw. We need to find runes. We can find them with drum solo very easily. We've got very, very good control options here. I'm, I'm quite happy with this, so... This goes down here. Um... Any viable you know what? decks right now? What do you mean? What do you mean by any viable decks right now? What kind of decks are we talking about? 8 out of 12. I'm hoping for 3 men. Like, I don't know what I'm hoping for, actually. It's hard to say. Those who kill innocents are no more than fiends. That's pretty good. I'm really happy with this because now I'm leveling uh, Master Yi for free. Happy to see it. It's an instant level up for Master Yi. Come on, just play it. You know you want to. He thinks quick attack is good enough in his mind. He might think overwhelm is good enough as well. Oh wow, this is a really hard choice. Uh, 
If he can give plus one, plus one to this, he goes to four. I think I buff instead of freeze, right? I think we actually buff instead of freeze here. Even though I take one extra damage to face. This is superior. Because I'm, I'm healing with the buff. I'm going to two HP instead of one. And if he has plus one, plus one, he kills me if I freeze. Whereas this doesn't. So Master Yi leveling here is huge. That level up is extremely high value for us. And now we have Recall and Drum Solo. Drum Solo is super useful. We, we're not finding answers, unfortunately, for, for Ryze's level up condition. That's a problem. Our open attack is very strong. It kills off units for free, which is great. All right. What do we have? That's really a good draw. Uh, first things first, get rid of um, get rid of this unit. Just get rid of units. We can't let him go wide. And if he has like a, a strike card, we don't want to give him a chance to use it. One mana do nothing. All right, so this is probably the play. Maybe I should have used this first. Yeah, I should have used this first because I could have gotten deal two damage to the weakest unit. All right, so he can't play Tumble this turn. I need stuns, I think. Yeah, Rune Prison is amazing here. We get our mana back here. So this costs uh, less. Very nice. Drum Solo is pretty good. I could even get something nice with Drum Solo. I could, I could level up Rise here. I like this build better than Solo Rise, personally. I've been enjoying having Master Yi as a secondary annoying card. Because he fits really well. That's really good, this turn. Wow. I think we use this now. Not to give him the level up condition for her. It also destroys the equipment, which is overwhelmed. I'm going to do it now. I want to get rid of this equipment. Uh, the overwhelm equipment is one of the ways we lose this game. That's very annoying because it burns a lot of his mana as well. And it's a one mana cost card. I think using it there is pretty solid. All right. One mana is nice. Time trick is not bad. We have a lot of play here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. So, ah, it's hard to say. I'm not sure if I can play time trick this turn. Hoping for a single combat play. I don't see the value he's going to get. Pass. We're freezing this almost every time. We don't want to stun it because uh, he can. He, if we stun it, he can still use Tumble on it. And that's his strongest character. That is his strongest character by far. So freezing this is just better. What? what? Wait, 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 wait. Really? Okay, listen. Uh, three sisters freeze. I can't go down to 1 HP. I literally can't go down to 1 HP. Killing Vayne is really nice. Because he, he wins with uh, this card. This is fine. He, he has to, I think, here buff Vayne, but then he can't play Tumble. And then I can play Homecoming as well, which is decent. I can even Homecoming my uh, my Shard of Madness if I want. Which is not a bad Homecoming, because it pays for itself. Good turn. He could kill, he could attack with this, I guess. How much damage is that? Show me your skill. You got zero mana, brother. What? Wait, am I missing something here? Why didn't he put the... What? Kick W indeed. I'm not mad at that. We have open attack lethal. Unless he has... I don't know what, what, he, what he can do to stop this. Okay. It's... <laughs> mm. And now, it is time, chat, from Nora! 
<laughs> I love this deck. Oh, Brom Nora time. I will never fail with Brom Nora. I'm just doing low roll and we're good. I'm just doing low roll and we're fine. My beloved. Yes, indeed. We have so many chump lockers. We've got so many. It's not bad. We're looking for the five cost card now. This is really, really, really strong in a Jax deck. Because he has no deny for it. He can't deny it. Really good start that he has nothing on turn one. Because, like, HP is a resource, but it's not the best resource. Junk Construct's amazing here. Whatever he plays, we're... And punish the wicked. Sure, we'll trump block that. We want to get these uh, cards into the deck ASAP. This is the winning card, by the way. Barity Nice is the winning card. Pretty weak against Shadow Isles and Nexus. I wouldn't say it's pretty weak. I want to see what this gives me, because I'll play around that a lot. <sighs> Another Troll Chant's amazing. Like, in this matchup, Troll Chant is just nuts, because he has so many Quick Attacks, right? Quick Attack is the problem. Um, Quick Attack is just so useful Um, in this matchup, because... Uh, and then this just beats Quick Attack on its own. Still lurk in he has no shadow. good play. I mean, I should have maybe attacked here with both, but his open attack sucks. And now, the, now he can't he can't open attack here, because he has no Quick Attack again, which means I can play I can play Brom. And when I play Brom, Brom never dies. Brom literally has 10 HP with one of these. It's insane. I just need the five cost card. Although even this is enough to win a lot of the time, because it gets rid of every weapon he has. Yeah, Brum is stupid thick. Absolutely. And Brum's gonna level this game. He has no way to stop Brum. How do you, how do you stop Brum from leveling, honestly? With no hard removal, only strike cards when I have double troll chant. How do you stop him from leveling? Is there a way? Is there a way to stop the level up? Boom, baby! It's over! He let me play Bromathy. There is no recovering from this. You cannot recover from Brum leveling here. No problem. Balu. Stand behind Braum, brother. Yo, what's up, Mo? Thank you for the Prime sub, buddy. Thank you very much for Prime subbing and supporting the stream. Very, very generous of you. What's your attack? You're, you're letting me kill this off. What are you doing? What's he doing? What? What? What is this? What is this? I don't understand. You're leveling my Braum. I'm five. I'm, I'm, I'm already five out of ten. Give me the blue, absolutely. It is easy, see? To the world below. We should be friends. I'm gonna I'm gonna give Brom take heart because I need him to have uh, damage on him. Faithless curve. I'm fine with that. Oh How's he gonna stop me? I'm hoping for a strike card on Braum. That would be sick. Just level me now, please. Just do it. Do it. Do it! Level me! Yes! That's the Valu I have been waiting for! <laughs> I love it. I love this game. Ah. Mm. Mm -mm. Oh, yeah. And now the game's over. Now the game's actually over. There, there's no way to survive this. There's no way to recover from this catastrophe. Let us take a peek at life beneath the waves. How do you even recover? From look how we have grown! Four attack, Bromathy. Disgusting. Now we get even portals just to go wider. Dude, this deck is so sick. I mean, even when we don't draw the five cost it after Brom levels. It gives us a free 4-4. Oh no! It's unethical! The oh no! Another 1 HP. Please, just stay at 1 HP. Stay at 1 HP. Just do it. Just just do it, brother. I believe in you. I believe in you, Ionian Hooker. Hook, ma hook Master. Boom, baby! Ah, oh, dude, this is so easy. Like, Brom is just- Brom Nora is just too powerful. There's no way to stop it. 
It's just way, way, way too much power. How do you beat this deck? Honestly, how do you beat it? You can even level Vayne, I don't care. Go ahead, level me. Level her. <laughs> Peace. Yeah, okay, six and one. That's how you play a gauntlet with it. your own favor decks. Mm. We just went six one with Brahm Nora, our, our main deck, and a Rise deck. That's it. There it is. Brahm Nora, Rise, six and one. The one loss we got, we shouldn't have gotten. This loss didn't even count. All right, let's 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 do emo lure then. Hey guys, <laughs> I'm I'm ready to win. All right, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That was that was that was cringe. I'm sorry, chat. I, I won't do that again. <laughs> 